Hi guys, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to work on uh, one of my table trays. Uh, a couple weeks ago I did a beach themed one and the glitter tape one. So um, today, and both of them were white, so today I am going to do a black one. What I've done so far is took some sandpaper and just uh, roughed up this edge. I mixed up my paints in here, so I got some glitter. Hang on. And just roughed up the, the surface of this tray. So, uh, in the last video you seen, you probably saw that I got um, some resin art pigments. So, let me get, so I can do a close-up. The video before had pretty much a close-up on all of them, but I'll run through them real quick. This is the... Teal Magnolia. This is her new glitter diamond collection. And this is what it looks like mixed up. And then we have the Amaryllis, which is her red. And this, each one of these have like Glitter in them, you can see the purples, blues, all of them, like every color from the rainbow is in there. Um, then we have the oops, Andromeda. This is super pretty. I don't know if you guys can even see this. Do you see all that sparkle in there? Maybe I can get you closer. See that? The greens and the blues. That's Andromeda. I'm using two of the Blingets. I'm using the Blingit Gold. Yeah, it's the Bling It Gold Sparkle, and I'm using the Bling It Red Sparkle. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there. So, I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to mix. Um, mm, so, I'm going to mix the Tiger Eye in front of you. Now there is a, a pro proprietary wetting agent that reduces the mixing time, and it really does. So here I've just got the, look at that, this is the tiger eye. Here I just got the dry pigment okay just put the resin in and then look at how easy it just melts. It, like it just melts in there. It's very cool. I'll show you a close up. Let me get it off the stick. So you don't want no chunks. This is the tiger eye. It's very bronzy. Bronzy gold. Alright. So here we go. Today I am using stone coat countertop resin this will be a table so 
I want it to be um, heat resistant. And I just put glitter back in my table again. I guess it don't matter because you're not going to see it. All right. So first off, I um, scratched up this, the surface. And I'm going to lay down some clear. I'm going to keep some clear in case I need other colors or... If I want to add clear to add depth into the table later. So I'm just going to smear this around just to cover. The edge so that my resin when I heat it up, it'll move slowly or move better. Kind of like when you're doing acrylics, you want to put a base coat down and let your colors move better. Same here. And it also adds depth too, so I don't really have a plan here. I'm just going to put these colors on and we're going to mix them around. So, I'm going to change out this glove. I'm going to check to make sure you are in the screen. Maybe get you a little closer. Oh, my glove don't want to go on. All right. Get you a little bit closer. Let me see. All right. So I'm just going to, let me put these colors away real quick. I just don't want resin all over them. I'm going to heat it up just a little bit just to get it warm and uh, the bubbles popped. So plug your ears for a second. get a skewer because I already see dog hair it's so strange because I don't allow my dog in here just because all the chemicals and stuff and I can't really you know protect them I can put a mask on myself but I just don't want to do anything to harm them so they are not allowed in the studio. But, of course, their hair comes in on me. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my mask on. Hey, on here. Last time I snapped my face, it left a damn mark. Okay. Now this is stone coat countertop, so it's not going to start curing for probably 45 minutes to an hour. So I probably don't need my mask on right now, but again, I just uh, I don't want to take any chances. So, all right. Okay. So we are going to, I don't have a plan, like I said, I just don't know if I should do puddle pours, or stripes, hmm, I don't know. Well, uh, we'll 
we'll just we'll wing it. We will wing it. All right. It's the first time using these uh, Galaxy Diamond pigments. I probably went overboard by not using like another color besides it, but it's gonna be very blingy. It's okay. This is the teal magnolia. It looks pretty fantastic. Oh, these colors are awesome. This is going to be a very, very sparkly table. Oh, wow. This is the and Andromeda. Wow. My husband loves blue. I bet he's gonna, he'd love this color. All right, seems like they might be home. They went to the store, so they might be busting in anytime. So we'll end it with a little bit more of this tiger eye. I did the thinner thinner lines just so that it would kind of just disperse all right so I'm going to put a little bit of clear in the middle here hang on one second what's up yeah a little bit because then it does the clear see what the clear would do in that gold it like it makes like a crater all right so now I'm gonna use this bling it right in the middle this is the bling it red sparkle gonna put like it in areas and uh, so that it would be in like bigger areas instead of just lines for now anyway see you can see that red you see the red in there in the blanket And now 
am going to put like a bit more clear inside the blingit. Which looks pretty cool, I call it windows when you do that. It like opens a window. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's called. But once I blow it around, you're probably not going to see any anyway. So I'll be saving some clear for that effect for later. But I just wanted to layer it for the bling it gold sparkle. Okay. So I'm going to heat it up for a minute. So watch your ears. Just a little bit with my heat gun and then I'm going to tilt. I just want to get it to the edges. Just like the middle part. Because I'm hoping my silver... Careful because if you do get these trays with the heat gun, they do get hot. So I'm kind of wanting to just tilt it that way. And it'll drag out this circle. And then we're going to bring it back the other way see how the clear is under it and then the colors are just going over it don't like it so I'm gonna do something else let's do something a little crazy this is so pretty colors, not the painting yet. Run it through. Okay, now on top of that red, I'm going to put some of that bling it red. Not that it needs any more sparkle, but I figure it'll really pop next to the amaryllis. Oh, 
So doing the little lines compared to the thick lines, it'll just like put like a kind of like a glittery line in it. Oh my! Add the Andromeda on the outside of, like not right in the middle because I want it to kind of push. See that way it's kind of in the middle, but it's like two different. my phone's gonna last here I might have to dump it and come back which sucks because I'm in the middle of uploading for like the third time Okay, so I'm going to heat it up a bit. Uh. I don't want it real hot because I'm going to run my hand through it. So first of all, I think it's crooked. This light is killing me. So, all right, so I'm going to get these back over there. And I'm just going to use my fingers. And we're going to go through it like that. Guys, I'm sorry. My phone got full just as I was rubbing my, I was just taking my fingers, my gloved hand, and made swirls, right? 
and then my phone got full. I went to go dump it on my computer. My computer was full because I had all the videos on it. Videos take up a ton of space. So my resin was setting up. So you didn't get to see um, me make my swirls. So basically I just, in the beginning, I, I did some, you've seen, I did some puddle pours and stuff. And I took my hand and I went like this around the outside, okay? And then I took this. It's not a skewer. It's kind of like a dowel. But it's got a smooth kind of end. So I basically, I let it set up for about 30 minutes so that it would hold its swirls. And I basically just took, took the skewer and did some swirls on it, okay? Swirled them in. And then toward the edges, I did take a sharp skewer. And you can see like, it wasn't looking right because some of the edges didn't have like swirls in it and it looked dumb. So let me see if I can find one of them. Uh, This swirl here kind of looks a little oblong shaped. So let me see. So basically I just take it, see how the um, resin is setting up. See how it's more defined? Because it was like losing its shape. So, so basically that was what I did with the swirls. So now I'm just letting this set up and then I'm probably going to put a clear coat on it. So I probably won't show the clear coat unless something dramatic happens. So once this sets up, I will show you what it will look like. It goes on the little stand on the table. Excuse my mess I've been, oops, I've been pouring on, um, on, uh, what are they called? Come on. I'm having problems wording again. Flower pots. That one, this one's actually alcohol inks, and then I threw glitter on it. So... So anyway, so that's going to be my little stand table. And then once I get the clear coat on it, depending, who knows, you know me, I'll probably put a clear coat with glitter on it. But those colors are so glittery on its own. I love that part right there with the teal and the red. Okay, so there you have it guys. There's my little tray stand. And then, like I said, this got little suction cups on them. So it's just removable, it can be a serving tray or that. And I will have these tables listed down in the description also. So, um, I think that is it. If I decide to do something different with this, I'll have a follow-up video, but I think I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. So, yeah. All right, thanks for watching, guys.